Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Crypto is back with another Bitcoin price daily analysis. How is it going, everybody? Hopefully, you're having a great day. We see some greenness in the market going on. Probably many of you are excited about it, and I can understand that probably with September is ending, October is coming. It has a lot of excitement. To be honest, guys, not much I see happening in the charts. Actually, we had a pattern I showed to you and uh, we will actually revise it and i told this one is actually broken today and i see many i see many of these youtubers and many of these people on the twitter are actually making you excited about this pattern now guys we are breaking up beers are going to the hell and we're going to the moon now guys be careful be careful i actually was running uh, home to make video this much this the video much earlier when we were breaking this and i wanted to tell you that guys be careful about the line the upper in the i mean the resistance we're going to be having ahead of us but unfortunately I, I arrived a little bit late but still it's not too late i will keep you informed guys anyways if you're new to the channel welcome subscribe if you would like to and if you of course like to follow the videos turn on notification bell if you enjoy the video smash the like button that's also of course or i mean they're optional if you would like to do it do it i appreciate that if not i hope you just enjoy the videos that i'm making anyways Guys, if you are following me, especially on Twitter, because in Twitter I'm telling you that's where I'm opening my trades and take profit and stop limit how I set them, right? So go in the, the this link, find the link in the description below the below this video, and if you like, uh, you can follow me in the in the Twitter because that's of course uh, in Twitter is much easier to. Uh, keep you updated and I've actually been in contact I always ask you guys to share your ideas with me in the comment down below or if you do it in Twitter it's gonna be much more easier because then we can have some kind of communication and if I have if I see the comments if I get a notification of course I will answer and I get in touch with you I would love to do that anyways guys if you're following if you followed let's jump into it okay I don't wanna let's I, I can't wait to just <laughs> jump to the chart and talk about it now if you are followed, if you are following and following my videos, you know that I brought to your attention this falling descending channel, which is actually in daily and four hours. So this is big and huge, right? I told you guys, this one is a bullish pattern. As if you are following me, you know, descending channels, falling wedge or whatever you call them, they usually tend to break upside rather than downside, right? So this one, I, for example, expected at some time it break to the upside like about 70 percent then it break to the downside this is how the nature of this falling wedge are but then after that i made an other updates for you they're all there in my channel you can go and watch and i actually compared a little bit the shape of this falling wedge because i was excited also that there are a lot of a lot more people excited in the space about this and these two falling wedge to compare them like this one we had before we go to the 64,000 and this one that we have right in here we were like excited okay this one could act the same as this one in the history but then I made another video I told you guys let's look at it I put the ribbon on this ribbon which is so important guys to know okay let's put this back in daily so we can fit it better now look at this guys I told you guys the pattern I'm seeing here, look how parabolic it was when we were here. And we were all the time, we were above the first the EMA on this ribbon, right? 20, 20 close. We, we barely were touching it. We were just going all the way up. Boom, we came back down. We touched the last, last EMA in 55. 55 daily close. And we got the bounce back, we broke the falling wedge, and we went to the all-time high. All right? Now, how about this one here? Look at this pattern. This pattern doesn't look to me, first of all, this parabolic as the parabolic it was right here. It looks like to me, unfortunately, more like this area that we had, we recorded the all-time high. That's the first thing we have to differentiate. And the second most important, guys, look. We fall below the ribbon. We are below the ribbon. Here, we never fall below the ribbon that's important that's important to understand and see and learn and if you appreciate that this one i'm showing you it doesn't make any sense to you then you don't forget to smash the like button for the video anyways 
that's one thing I want to say. This is, guys, this is the game of probability, right? I cannot come and tell you, yes, sure, for sure this is going to happen. No way. Anything is possible. I can wake up tomorrow and see, boom, Bitcoin is in all-time high. Yes, it's not likely. It's very unlikely to happen, but it's possible. But we have to open our eyes, learn the chart, and just be realistic. Yes, I know when I'm coming with some bearish videos, people are getting mad. Everybody, everybody wants to go to the moon in this space. But guys, I told you from the beginning, I cannot lie. I cannot act like many other YouTubers just to get subscribers, just to get likes, just to make everybody happy in the space that we are going to the moon, we are going to the moon. Guys, I also suffered some big crash in this market a couple of years ago when I entered. I was just lucky that I acted smart. When we were going up, I took my initial investment with some profit out of the market. Then I put big profit, which I made in the market. I kept it in the market, thought all the time we're going, because these, these same people, the same people that are calling today, okay, we're going to the moon, we're going to, they never talk about any top. They say we're going to the moon all the time. They have no limit. Bitcoin 20,000, they want 100,000. 100,000, they want 1 million. 1 million, they want 100 million. These are these kind of people, guys. And yes, on that time when I was new to the cryptocurrency market, I thought, oh, I'm going to become a millionaire in a year because we're only going up. And then, when it was crashing, everybody disappeared. And of course, money was also disappearing. As I told you, I was just lucky that I took my initial investment plus some profit out of the market. So I didn't lose from my pocket. That's that's what is everybody should do. If you are in the green, take profit. I'm not telling you to say goodbye to the market. I'm also in the market. I have some of my bags. I'm trading. But you have to be cautious. Let's go back to the charts and talk about it. Now, I compared with you these two falling wedge and I told you, I gave you my reason why this one could actually turn out to be bearish at the end and like even break to the downside, even though it's a bullish pattern, fine? Now, probably we're gonna have a little bit time for this one to play out. Now, let me show you what's happening now, guys. Look what in, what was so important happened today. We were, when we were in the top of the market, I showed this all to you before, but I cannot just skip through it. I have to show, some people are new and watching this, I have to show again. Look guys, when we were in the parabolic bull run to the upside, we always respected this ribbon. But as soon as we broke, broke down and we fell below it, we were just under it toward 28,000. We made it back above and we went all the way up to 53,000. And now we are again under it. And as you can see, it's again turning and it's just getting, being as a resist. And here it was supporting us, giving us, at any time we were coming back to it, giving us a bounce, you see? But now we are under it, and today we touched 40, look, we came under it, we touched it, resistant. We fell below, some support, now we're touching it again, and it looks like we're getting some resistance at 44,000, almost 100, where exactly I shorted market today, again. If you want to know what happened with my previous shorts, of course I tell you. I tell you in the charts, because if you followed me in the Twitter, I told you that I'm shorting the market where I shorted based on this pattern that I shared, this pattern, this triangle. First, when it broke, I, sh I shorted the market, right? I told you that I'm looking for 38,000 to happen. But of course, it went back into it. It was a fake breakout. I was in my trade, even in the way back down again. It almost went to my stop limit. My stop limit was uh about 42,680 it went to 42,590 so it didn't i was in the loose but it came back all the way in here of course then as i told you always when you are in profit i was like in about five six percent profit but i, I advise you all the time that if you're in the profit put your stop loose in the profit even if it's break even don't put it on lose okay so yeah I was sleeping and it went back all the way. It was another fake out, got support, and it went all the way back up. 
I was out of my trades in break even, right? Now, then I was looking for 43,700. I opened the short, very, uh, very short, but then I look at the DXY, it's just retesting, coming down and retesting some of these uh, levels. So I, I thought I saw some <clears throat> bullish momentum in the market. I closed it with little profit. So I said I will wait and I was expecting because this pattern went out of uh, out of my attention to be honest because it was like come on two fake uh, two fake out and down and one almost two up so just leave it i said i will go with my bigger pattern which is the big descending channel uh, which i'm telling it could be potentially bullish fine now why did i short if i'm saying it's actually bullish pattern even though i i gave you my reason that's in longer term, it couldn't, be, it can't be that bullish, okay? Because usually this pattern, especially when they are in a bigger uh, time frame like daily and four hours and this stuff, they don't break in the second or third touch. That's just based on experience. It's possible they, for them to break. It might break. After I cl close this video, so far it was rejected, but maybe later it will break. But they usually tend to break breakout in fourth or fifth even touch so i was expecting i waited i said i will open my short trade 44,100 bitcoin and i did that and it was almost the top until this moment i don't know maybe it went all the way back up again but at the moment my trade is in a good profit and we see anytime we touched this line the uh, upper line of this falling wedge what happened a disaster okay just let me remove the ribbon look what happened a disaster happened a crash happened to the down to this downturn line. now we'll see will it will it happen the same we'll see nothing's got for guaranteed but that's my position for now but is it the only reason that i shorted the market shorted the bitcoin no it's not if you <clears throat> go and look at rsi Just a second, I put this in daily because for me, honestly, in daily RSI matters the most. Indicator and RSI. Now, if you look at the RSI, I showed to you in my previous update as well. I was actually looking for this moment so much, and so far, it's like my a very good point for me to entertain a short look we we actually broke down we retested it now we are retesting it again and we'll see it could break and go up either as fake or real but for me i believe that trend is your friend and for now trend is to the downside is bearish so that's why i'm shorting so everything look like looking like to me bearish. The only thing that could be bullish actually for me and could actually ruin my short position is that October is finishing. Se uh, sorry, September is ending. October is coming. Uh, well, September was always bad month for crypto. I know October and three months after that was good month for crypto. I don't think these three months. Well, I'm for. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, I'm like you know looking at this 64 currently as top i became these days much more bearish as than i was before you might not like to hear it but i have to be realistic i'm a cryptocurrency fan you know that um i i like to make money but you know when when charts are telling me that it's most likely not going to be possible to make money through holding then i have to rush into the trading then uh but yeah even I, I turned a little bit bearish these days because chart I'm looking at the charts I don't see so much of bullishness but yeah of course always manipulation could come and make everybody excited make some days at least green in October 
So we're going to the moon, 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 and everybody putting, I mean, all these people on YouTube, 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 Twitter comes and tell you, buy the, I told you, buy the deep and all this, and then the bigger crash comes. Now, guys, we'll see. Well, nothing in this video should be financial advice, should not be taken as financial. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just like you, okay? I'm just trying to make some uh, guess and prediction and try to earn money. And I'm sharing here the ideas with you. Uh, maybe it could help you and if you let me know in the comment down below what you think what are your visions it might help me as well thank you for watching so far this was all i got to show you in this video i'll keep you updated and have a good day dr crypto